today on Couple by an LA Pacific Rim video is taking us on the red carpet. I know you missed that. We haven't had that segment in a while. Um, and now we are moving them from Mondays to Wednesdays. And so today on the show, prepare to hear the latest in Hollywood from Pacific Rim video starting on the red carpet. Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday. My name is Janelle Sawyer, Couple by an here in Los Angeles, where today on the show, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. We're going to be talking about the kickoff of Philippine American History Month in uh, the city of Carson in California that's happening on Saturday. Also investing in the Philippines, like I said earlier, you would be surprised. A lot of high rental yields. We're going to be talking about that as well. But before that, mga bagong technology, very impressive technology brought to us by Balita. Ronnie Ligo is the editor-in-chief of Weekend Balita. Also, they have a brand new broadsheet. It's called U.S. Asian Post. Hello, Ronnie. Joining us from their Glendale newsroom. Magandang hapon sa'yo. Magandang hapon sa'yo, Janelle. Ay, nako, mukhang pwede na yata tayo mag-party at hindi tayo matatakot ng mga DUI. Siguro five years from now because science fiction is here. You know what? Let's talk about that because in the Philippines, we grew up there. We had, a sh we had chauffeurs in the Philippines. And when you have a driver, traffic is not so bad because then you can be productive still texting, emailing in the car while waiting. But here in California, when you drive and it takes, you know, two, three hours to get to your destination back and forth, it's just very difficult to be productive because you're concentrating on the road. But now with uh, dry, uh, self-driving cars, Oh, nga, no? uh, yesterday, no, Governor of California, Governor Jerry Brown, signed the bill na kung saan papayagan na po yung mga tinatawag nga, nabanggit mo na nga, no, na driverless uh, vehicles na pwede nang mag-drive sa California. Actually, this is just a testing period at the moment, but uh, five years from now, maka makakita na tayo ng mga sasakyan na hindi na kailangan i-drive pa ng mga uh, motorists. However, of course, uh, at the moment, kailangan meron ding uh, driver na magbabantay dito sa mga sasakyan na ito. At any rate, ito na nga ay may bagong technology na pwede sila mag-drive on their own. Ano? These are called Google Cars na kung saan uh, they, they, they use the latest uh, in technology at hindi rin din sila nag uh, they won't even uh, cross uh, uh, run on red lights. So, mukhang nang pwede niya na tayong uminom ng mga sa ating mga parties at di tayo mahuli ng DUI Janelle. Because they can drive us home. Um, this, of course, is technology from Google. Uh, Ronnie, my only question is, gano kaya kabilis yan? Of course, you know, uh, I'm pretty sure dahil uh, uh, susundin ng uh, rules and uh, regulations as far as the DMV is concerned. Actually, sa Nevada nga, mukhang meron na yata nabigyan ng mga lisensya. Yung mga taong makikinabang dito, may mga, of course, mga handicap, ano, yun ang mga pwedeng makinabang dito. At sabi pa nga rito, bukod sa mga may, uh, pwedeng mag-drive under the influence, eh yung mga bata na pwedeng na rin mag-drive, ano, uh, of course, that, they will still need the license, ano. At uh, ito nga, eh, kailangan na, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure because of the technology, they will be uh, following rules and regulations strictly. We are um, in the testing period, and kaya naman sinabi ni Governor Jerry Brown na bibigyan din ng priority in some roads itong mga driverless cars, and hopefully like you said, Ronnie, in the next few years, this will be available to the public. Although I know, because of this brand new technology, mukhang baka medyo mahal pa yan. And speaking of technology, uh, focus later. Focus later cameras. Oh, mukhang meron na akong uh, magandang uh, Christmas present as uh, so far as my mother-in-law is concerned. At kahit na siguro ang nanay ko, ano, na 86 years old na. Itong bagong technology na sinasabi mo nga, ano, uh, click now, focus later. May isang camera na kung saan, ano, Lytro, kung tawagin yung brand na yan, uh, isa siyang parang uh, stick ng butter ang uh, itsura niya. Mapapakita mo sa video ano, na kung saan, uh, kahit na hindi hindi ka nagpo-focus, magpo-focus yung mag-isa, hindi lang yun. Ano, pwede mong palitan ng focus, like for example, kung sino yung foreground, uh, gusto mo i-focus siya at pwede mong palitan yung background. At hindi lang yan, ano? even if you um, uh, pass it on to your friends through uh, internet, sila mismo pwede nilang paglaruan yung picture. The technology goes with it. Gusto nila i-focus lang yung, uh, yung background or yung foreground. At mukhang napaka-revolutionize nitong uh, camera na ito. Mukhang mawawalan ng trabaho yung mga kapwa yeah. o mga photographers, Photographer. unfortunately. Yes, Ronnie. And you know, magpapas ko na hindi lang uh, mother-in-law mo, pati nanay mo. Pati ako din. Okay na rin yan na regalo mo sa akin sa pasko. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Also, bago naman magpasko, of course, election here in the U.S., the race is really tightening. And mukhang may survey that Asian Americans prefer 
Obama over Mitt Romney. Yeah, a, a new survey, no? Uh, more than 3,000 uh, uh, respondents, ano, mga Asian Americans na katulad natin, I'm pretty sure, they said that uh, they might uh, vote for uh, President uh, Barack Obama sa November 6, ano? Alam naman natin, just a few weeks na yan, ano? Eh, yun na nga. However, to, out of this uh, 3,000, more than 3,000 respondents, one-third are still undecided. So, medyo delikado pa rin yan eh, uh, sa mga, lalo na sa mga tinatawag na uh, yung pinaglalaba ng mga states, ano? Mm -hmm. Oo, yan ang uh, delikado dyan eh. Kasi may mga congressional candidates and hopefully yung mga Asian Americans bumuesto rin, ano? Uh, this, uh, uh, there's a report that there is a big number of Asian Americans who are running for congressional seats. And perhaps next time we can talk about that as well. Ronnie, for now, thank you for sharing those stories with us. At mas marami pang balita sa... Oh, of course, ano, aming pong uh, website, ano, balita.com, and yung aming pong bagong uh, pahayagan, uh, usasianpost.com, yan po ang uh, website niya. All right, thank you so much. More power to you. That was Ronnie Ligo, Editor-in-Chief of Weekend Balita. Log on to the internet, www.balita.com, and don't forget to pick up your free copy of uh, Balita and US Asian Post. Meanwhile, back here on Cabo Bay in LA, when we return, let's talk about investing in the Philippines. It actually makes financial sense. Don't go away.